Hasi to Hill Church. This is Sydney Jolson, and I'm so excited to share God's word with you this morning. I'm going to be looking at Psalm 23, and in particular, verse 5. And it says this You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. And, and I want to just talk about the great fruit that is available when we overcome fear. That fear is a, a signal. Fear is an alarm bell. Fear is a doorway for great fruitfulness on the other side. And I want to just I want to speak to you about a principle which I've come to know from a gentleman, Alan Scott, as I've been reading his book, Scattered Servants. Phenomenal book if you want to get it. And he speaks about this principle, the scarecrow principle. A scarecrow in the field, there it is, it's, it's just a dummy, it's a, it's a decoy. And it's to scare crows away from the fruit. And so a dumb crow just will not approach the field because it thinks that that scarecrow has got some ability. It's intimidating the crow. Intimidation is a huge weapon of the enemy. A clever crow is one that pushes beyond the fears and intimidation and knows that there's great fruit that is growing there. That God has not given us a spirit of fear. As it says in 2 Timothy 1 verse 7, God has not given us a spirit to fear, but one of power, love, and self-control, sound mind, self-discipline. People have often thought, wow, Sydney, you've got this gift. You've got a healing gift. You've got some um, ability which God has given me by grace that people think they don't have. I want to tell you, it's not so much that I've been given a gift, but that, in fact, the grace that has been given to all of us I have just gone after a particular thing in the supernatural and I have stewarded that, that grace that God has given to me. And through great diligence and stewardship, I've seen more and more increase. And so where there's been uh, fearful intimidations to press in, to go and break ceilings and to go beyond um, the boundaries, I've pressed beyond that to see increased fruit in my life through self-control, self-discipline, stewardship. And so I want to encourage you, church, that where there's fear, and even fear around this time with COVID-19, where there's fear about your finances or um, how you're going to pay the next bills, um, fear for your family and for your children or for your loved ones, I want to say there's great increase, there's great fruitfulness, there's some things God can only give you in the presence of your enemies. So I encourage you with that today. God bless.